Hello everyone, I am Dr. Chinnai Wale, I am an orthopedic surgeon and today we are going to speak about a very common entity that everybody of us sometimes have gone through, sprained ankle. A sprained ankle is an injury that occurs when you roll, twist or turn your ankle in an awkward way. Now look at the causes of the ankle sprain. A sprain occurs when your ankle is forced to move out of its normal position which can cause one or more of the ankle ligament to stretch, partially tear or tear completely. Causes of a sprained ankle include a fall that causes your ankle to twist or roll, walking or exercising on uneven surfaces. Now let's look at the symptoms of sprained ankle. Signs and symptoms of sprained ankle vary depending on the severity of the injury. They may include pain, especially when you bear weight on the affected foot, tenderness when you touch the ankle, swelling, bruising, restricted range of motion, instability of the ankle. You might also hear or feel a pop when the sprain occurs. Now let's look at the risk factors. Factors that increase the risk of sprained ankle includes sports participation. Ankle sprains are a common sports injury, particularly in sports that require jumping, cutting action or rolling or twisting of the foot, such as basketball, tennis, football, soccer and trail running. Uneven surfaces. Walking or running on uneven surfaces or poor field conditions may increase the risk of an ankle sprain. Prior ankle injury. Once you have sprained your ankle or had another type of ankle injury, you are more likely to have it again. Poor physical condition, poor strength or flexibility in the ankle may increase the risk of sprain when participating in the sports. Improper shoes. Shoes that don't fit properly or are not appropriate for an activity causes chronic ankle pain. Now, what is chronic ankle pain? Once you have sprained your ankle, you may continue to sprain it if the ligament do not have time to completely heal. If the pain continues for more than 4 to 6 weeks, you may have a chronic ankle pain. Now let us see when to see a doctor. Call your doctor if you have pain and swelling in your ankle and you suspect a sprain. If signs and symptoms are severe, you may have significant damage to ligament or a broken bone in your ankle or lower leg. Now let us see at the grades of ankle sprain, how you can grade it. After the examination, the doctor will determine the grades of a sprain to help develop a treatment plan. Sprains are graded based on how much damage has occurred to the ligaments. Now let us see what is grade 1 sprain, that is called as mild sprain. Slight stretching and microscopic tearing of the ligament fibers, mild tenderness and swelling around the ankle. Now let us see what is moderate sprain or grade 2 sprain. Partial tearing of the ligament, moderate tenderness and swelling around the ankle. If the doctor moves the ankle in certain ways, there is an abnormal looseness of the ankle joint. Now let us see what is severe ankle sprain, that is grade 3 ankle sprain. In that, we can experience the complete tear of ligament, a significant tenderness and swelling around the ankle. If the doctor pulls or pushes on the ankle joint, in certain moments, substantial instability occurs. Now let us see how to prevent it. The following tips can help you prevent a sprained ankle or a recurring sprain. Warm up before you exercise or play sports. Be careful when walking, running or working on uneven surfaces. Use an ankle support, brace or tape on a weak or previously injured ankle. We are shoes that fit well and are made for your activity. Minimize wearing high heel shoes. Maintain good muscle strength and flexibility. Practice stability training, including balance exercises. Slow down or stop activities when you feel pain or fatigue. Now let's see treatment. Almost all ankle sprains can be treated without surgery. Even a complete ligament tear can heal without surgical repair if it is immobilized appropriately. A three-phase program 
गाइड्स ट्रीटमेंट फॉर ऑल एंकर्स फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम माइल्ड टू सीवियर फेज वन विच इंक्लूड्स रेस्टिंग प्रोटेक्टिंग द एंकल एंड रिड्यूसिंग द स्वेलिंग फेज टू इंक्लूड्स रिस्टोरिंग रेज ऑफ मोमेंट स्ट्रेंथ एंड फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी फेज थ्री इंक्लूड्स मेंटेनेंस ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेस द ग्रेजुअल रिटर्न ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज दैट डू नॉट रिक्वायर टर्निंग और ट्विस्टिंग टू द एंकल दिस विल बी फॉलोड लेटर बाय बीइंग एबल टू डू एक्टिविटीज दैट रिक्वायर शार्प एंड सडन टर्न्स सच एज टेनिस बास्केटबॉल और फुटबॉल द थ्री फेज ट्रीटमेंट प्रोग्राम मे जस्ट टेक टू वीक्स टू कम्प्लीट फॉर द माइनर्स फ्रेंड्स अप टू सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व वीक्स फॉर सीवियर इंजुरीज Now let's see for some home treatment as well. For my dear friends, your doctor may recommend simple home treatment, the rice protocol. Follow the rice protocol as soon as possible after you get injured. Rest your ankle by not walking on it. Ice should be immediately applied to keep the swelling down. It can be used for 20 to 30 minutes, three to four times a day. Do not apply the ice directly to skin. Compression dressings, bandages, or ice wraps. that will help you immobilize and support your injured ankle elevate your ankle above the level of your heart as often as possible during the first 48 hours now let's see some medications any side is such as ibuprofen or naproxen can help control pain and swelling because they improve function by both reducing swelling and controlling the pain they are the better option for mild pain than narcotic pain medications now let's move to the surgical treatment Surgical options for sprained ankle may include orthoscopy. During orthoscopy, your doctor uses a small camera called an orthoscope to look inside your ankle joint. Miniature instruments are used to remove any loose fragment of bone or cartilage or parts of ligament that may be caught in the joint. Reconstruction. Your doctor may be able to repair the torn ligament with stitches and sutures. It should be noted that surgical treatment for ankle sprain is very rare. Surgery is reserved for injuries that fail to respond to non-surgical treatment and for patient who experience persistent ankle instability after months of rehabilitation and non-surgical treatment.